What's good YouTube? So today we're gonna be switching up the content. Today is actually gonna be our first car video. So first off, let me show you guys my car. Um, that's my 2015 Camaro SS. And well, if you can't tell, the car is extremely dirty. It's been raining pretty consistently for about the last two weeks here in Texas. So I haven't really been able to wash the car. Um, so today what we're gonna do is a quick car wash video. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the products I use and why I use them, how I use them, and things of that nature. So um, I hope you guys find value of this. I hope you enjoy and uh, let's get right to it. So first off, I wanna let you guys know that I am using a power washer. Um, power washers really do make a difference. I, I truly believe that if you're really serious about maintaining your car and keeping it clean, you definitely need one of those. So the power washer and the foam cannon a combo is really unbeaten. Um, the soap that I'm using is Chemical Guys. It's the Snow Foam Auto Wash. It's neutral in acidity, so it won't really do any damage to, to your paint, so I like that. Obviously, I'm using microfibers, and I'm also using a microfiber drying towel right there. Um, so let me set everything up, get you guys set up, and then uh, we'll get things going. All right, YouTube, so you guys are now set up on the tripod. Um, step number one is gonna be getting the power washer. I'm gonna use the 25 degree nozzle and uh, just getting a pre-rinse, trying to get as much dirt off as I can. So that's what you guys will be seeing right now. So next up, we're gonna be uh, making our soap solution. So like I said, I'm using the chemical guys and I'm gonna pour a decent amount in here, really just eyeballing it. Um, in my opinion, you could definitely never have too much soap. I love when it comes out nice and foamy. So, put a little bit more in. And then we just add water and we're ready to go. All right, so I've got my water in. A uh, quick pro tip is I usually go inside and turn on my faucet. I put the hot water on and that usually bubbles up the soap a little bit more. So uh, now we're just gonna connect the soap to the power gun and you'll see me starting to put the foam onto the car and that'll be the first time that I do it. With everything attached, we're gonna start step number two of the car wash, which is our touchless wash. So let's get right into it. Alright, so with everything foamed up, I've reattached my spray nozzle and I'm going to get to washing all this soap off and hopefully seeing all the dirt come right off. Alright, so with the car all washed off, our next step is going to be a touch wash. And so for the touch wash, what I'm going to do is reapply another coat of foam with the foam cannon. And then I'll go ahead and get my microfiber sponges and start wiping away at the car by hand. So for my touch wash, I'm going to be using the two bucket method. Um, and so what I'm going to do is the soap that I have left over from my foam cannon, I'm just going to pour that into my, uh, into my wash bucket. And that's the soap that I'll be using to wash the car. Um, but other than that, it's obviously just going over the car with my mitt and uh, just trying to get all that dirt off, that remaining dirt off. So. So with everything nice and clean, we're gonna go ahead and use our microfiber towel and go on to our last step, which is gonna be drying the car. Just like that, the car is all done. So here she is in her shining beauty. Everything is nice and pretty and shiny, just how it should be. 
I come over here and do my wheel test, go like this, and there's no mark, so everything's looking good. Um, so for my last pro tip, if you guys notice, my, uh, my wipers are still up. Make sure that you clean off the inside of these wipers before you put them back down, because if not, you put them back down with all the dirt and you end up just dirtying up your windshield right there. And you definitely don't want that, especially because you just put all your hard work into cleaning it. But um, yeah, guys, I mean, that's how you, or at least that's how I wash my car. Power washer, foam cannon, touchless wash, touch wash, and then a couple of detailing after that, two bucket method, and I mean, there you have so it. So yeah, guys, I mean, that's about it. Um, definitely leave a like if you enjoyed this video, if you found this useful at all. I mean, a like goes a long way. And um, I'm definitely gonna have more content up on the car, um, little modifications and things that I've done to the car. I mean, I'll make videos on that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and thank you for watching. Here, uh, usually the hot water causes more bubbles and creates more foam, so that's definitely a plus. So let me just attach the spray gun, and we'll get our our. our